Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? We're at BlurCon 2021. I am with the iconic Karen Ashley. How are you? I am good. Thank you. Absolutely. Iconic. I like that. I need I need you to walk around with me all day. I got you. I got you. I <laughs> look, and I could be your sign and not fall. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I did have a banner behind, but yeah, it, 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 fell. It, it It's like the humidity in this room yeah. is so thick. Yeah. <laughs> now I always have to ask my black sisters how do we do it i know you because I, I can i can do the math i know you've been the power ranger thing has been about 25 years yes how do you still look 25 years old oh, no. <laughs> oh, my, i get it from my mama <laughs> good jeans both of my parents look amazing um and i don't know i just i think as a culture we had to get some, <laughs> so we got the fountain of youth. You know, it's drinking that juice at Ernie's Juice Bar. I mean, I don't know what it was. <laughs> you look, yeah, you look, you look good. And, and again, um, I just want to say thank you for everything you've done for this community, uh, both the Blur community and both for the Power Rangers community. It is absolutely crazy to think that Power Rangers, a show that I could think we could almost safely say that a lot of us liked it, but it was at a point where everybody was just like, you still like that? And yet, now everybody's recircling back like, yo, I love Power Rangers oh, since day one. Like, That's my jam. And it's just like, hold on. Right. Where were you? Yeah, yeah. You took my lunch money and was making fun of me for lack of Power Rangers. Exactly. I know. Everybody liked Power Rangers, whether they were out and proud or they, they were, like, watching at home by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So I know this is a question you probably get a lot, but do you ever have those moments where you pinch yourself and you just are really, like, this does not make sense. Like, how, why, I could have never imagined. Do yeah. you still have those moments? Every every weekend. Every weekend. I mean, I know it's like, obviously, I meet fans every weekend at yeah. different Comic-Cons. and um, But it's like one of those things. Like, when we were on the show, they used to tell us, like, oh, you're the number one show in the world. And we'd be like, what does that mean? Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? It was, like, cool to hear. But it wasn't until we traveled the world. Yeah. And, like, I remember we were in Lima, Peru. Yeah. They could not speak English, but they could sing the words to the Power Ranger theme song. That's they could quote the movie. We were communicating without wow. communicating. I mean, it's like, wow. That yeah. was a moment where I was like, we really were number one in the world. Because who knew, you know? So I pinch myself every weekend. It's the, the gift that keeps on giving, man. That's, that's awesome. Our fans are the realest. That's awesome. And this is another kind of a, a left field question. I think we all can agree there. And, and even statistically, as you say, Power Rangers is the number one show. Did you all ever collectively ever look at another property and say, like, they're killing us? No. <laughs> we, we were too busy. We were too busy to even watch TV. Like, yeah. I remember I would, like, I would, I, this, is, this is before we had DVR. I would tape General Hospital and I'd get off of work and I'd watch it and then I'd fall asleep. Like, that was like my evening. Yeah. yeah like, no. And, and we were always like, we wanted to work with other shows. We wanted, I remember we did this one, like, press thing for Fox, Fox Kids or Fox Network. And they had all the Fox shows and, like, 90210 was there, married with children like I mean everybody was at this party and we were like how can we like like we were all like how can we be on your show you be on our show and we just like yeah. I mean it was just one of those things we always wanted to work with everyone uh, and another thing too I mean again talk about the, the, the tenure of Power Rangers and an imprint into uh, the culture and just all the society uh, do you ever look at other properties currently now mm -hmm. and say like we started that. Oh, that that's that's our touch. Well, I always say we got the party started. Like, of I course. mean, if you think about it, like it, on Power Rangers, you had the first black male and female action hero in live action yeah. ever, and yeah. that was me. That was Walter Jones. And so now, when you see like shows like Black Panther, and you see all these amazing, like I'm like. You know, I feel like we kind of were, we got, we opened the door to that. Yeah. Power Rangers was so ahead of its time. Like every single kid in the world has somebody that looks like them that's been on this show. Yeah. And that's something. Like, I mean, <laughs> I, it could be cheesy. It could be, I always say it's rated G with extra cheese. It's just so ca catchy and kitschy or whatever the yeah, word is. Yeah. But it's one of those things. Like 
for a little kid to be able to watch and see someone that looked like them and they weren't the best friend, they weren't the funny person, they were the hero. Yeah. They got to save the day. Yeah. I mean, you had girl power before there was girl power, you know? So I feel like Absolutely. we started so many things and we didn't sit there and kind of harp on it. It was just what it was. Yeah. That's what this world that we, Angel Grove, that's what it was. Men yeah. and women fought together, we were a team. And so for me, I just feel so proud and I feel so honored and blessed to have been a part of that and, and to have people come to me and say the very first movie I ever saw when I was a kid was your movie and I'm like oh god like that's just amazing yeah, <laughs> yeah. as I see the line started uh, to pile up for you I got just two more quick yes, questions no speaking about kids real quick I do got to take like a mildly negative pivoted to this yes. not really bad negative it's but okay. like do kids ever come up to you and be like you're responsible for me being grounded because of what y'all were doing <laughs> First of all, you're responsible for kicking your brother or your sister. Like, it's when we got the blame for everything. And like, I was like, kids, when I was a kid and there was no Power Rangers, we used to box each other up too. So how it was our fault that kids were kicking each other, I'll never know. Uh, but no, yeah, I mean, I, we get we get where kids are like, you know, I, I, got, on, I got kicked out of kindergarten because I kicked my best friend. I'm like... Like, yeah, like, and it's our fault? Like, <laughs> I, I, I will never in my life forget being on the playground in elementary yes. school. One of my good friends got suspended, and he was like, I saw Tommy do it, yeah. so I did it. And the teachers were like, Who is Tommy? Yeah, principal's <laughs> office. <laughs> yes. I, I, yeah. I, 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 we I got always, so many letters. That's so Like, funny. parents would write us, and, and I mean, at one point, it was a big deal because yeah. people were like, power juice is too violent. And we really were like, I mean, we're not fighting each other. Yeah. We only fight aliens. Yeah. We would do PSAs. And I think it was just the energy. Like kids would just get so excited yeah. and they would jump off the couch and yep. break their arm. But, you know, but, but I think little Tommy was going to jump off the couch and break his arm anyway. <laughs> where is he now? Let's, let's find out where he is now. Yep. 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 <laughs> is, is he doing five to 10 or is he a productive adult? Yep. <laughs> He's yep. probably a productive adult. <laughs> And little Pretty Tommy, strong. yeah, yeah, you know, he was going to break his arm yeah, anyway. <laughs> he know. was going to jump off his bunk bed anyway. <laughs> yeah. Now, we are BlurCon, yes. and I just, you know, really quickly to, yes. to, to promote the con, what does it mean to be in this atmosphere, to be the featured guest here at this year's uh, BlurCon, the first con black back in this area, black in this area. I mean, it yeah. still works. But, yeah, what does it mean <laughs> to be the featured guest? Yes, at this conference. Oh man, I love. First of all, I love BlurCon. I love Ahaz. I love Hilton. They are family. I did the show like I think was it originally in like 2018, and then they we kept talking about having me back. And so they're beautiful, beautiful people. It's just BlurCon is a special show. It's fellowship. Yeah. I mean, I literally saw thousands of people over the weekend hugging, laughing, dancing, just having a good time. And and the weirder you are, the cooler you are. Absolutely. And it's like so like everyone's here it doesn't matter if you're gay straight black white everybody's welcome and everybody's you know here to have fun and i just love the comic-con community but i especially love the blurred con community i'm just glad as a community we're able to just be us yeah. and if we want to be smart if we want to be educated if we want to be nerds if we want to be anything we can yeah. be whatever we want and we're in a safe space so if you've never come to blurred con come to blurred con or go to any comic con most of them are very welcoming <laughs> hey, hey man i could almost end an interview there but there's one more important thing because yes. you're talking about events and you just so happen to have something coming up so could you talk about this really ranger quickly? stop and pop yes ranger stop and pop is a show that myself nikia baris who is the, the yellow ranger came on after me mm -hmm. and michael bioni who is uh, he runs ranger stop in orlando we created a show called ranger stop and pop in atlanta it's august 27th through the 29th at the Weston Buckhead Hotel and it's Power Rangers it's anime as I always say it's Power Rangers pop culture and anime colliding it's a really fun show it's three days of just fun events we have everyone from the Power Rangers to Chris Sabat from uh, everything, my, my Hero, Hero yeah. Dragon Ball. Everything, <laughs> everything. So it's kind of like the theme this year is Power Rangers, My Hero Academia, and Dragon Ball Z. So if you're into those things, you've got to come to the show. We'll have voice actors, actors. Everybody's going to be there. We're going to be having fun. Lots of cosplayers. And it's in Atlanta. It's in a great city. And yeah. so it'll be fun. I mean, I know like one, maybe a thousand people that like that combination of yes. characters and stuff. So... <laughs> Those thousand come to our show. Go to Ranger Stop Atlanta. 
Ticketmaster.com. Get your tickets. That's right. I will have the information in the description below. This is Karen Ashley, folks. Red Blur on Train 21. We're signing out. The line is, is loading up, and I got to go. Thank you so much. It's morphin' time. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much. That was awesome. Yay. Thank you